The Rules Committee will come to order. We have never had a hearing like this one before. Uh, that's for two reasons. The first reason is that we have never had a member like this before. She has encouraged violence against members of this institution, going so far as agreeing with a comment that advocated for putting a bullet in the head of the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The resolution was referred to the Committee on Ethics, but I am appearing before you today not only as a chair of that committee, but also as the representative of Parkland, Florida. Prior to her election, Representative Green engaged in a long pattern of threatening and dangerous conduct against the survivors of the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. She called mass shootings in Parkland, in Las Vegas, and in Newtown, staged false flag events. She called survivors crisis actors. It is important for this committee to remember why Ms. Green's conduct is so harmful. I have cried with the families of Parkland and I've grieved with them. And, and in my wallet, I still, to this day, carry a sheet of paper with the names of their loved ones. Alyssa Oladef and Scott Beagle and Martin Duque and Nick Dorette and Aaron Feist and Jamie Guttenberg and Chris Hickson and Luke Hoyer and Carol Lofgren and Gina Montalto and Joaquin Oliver and Elena Petty and Meadow Pollock and Helena Ramsey and Alex Schachter and Carmen Chentrop and Peter Wang. There are not words in the English language to properly describe how the remarks of Ms. Green makes these communities feel. Ms. Green has not accepted responsibility for her actions, spreading these dangerous lies. If anything, she seems to be emboldened and has promised that she'll never apologize. She's not apologized for amplifying a call for that summary execution of the Speaker of the House. When promoting a rally in Washington, D.C., she called for a takeover of the Capitol with violence if necessary. She said that Congress is nothing and they should fear us. They should be cowering in fear. Now look at where we are one month removed from a deadly insurrection. What have Republican leaders said in response to these comments as Ms. Green joined their ranks? Not enough. It would be impossible to maintain civic confidence in the integrity of the House if we were to normalize Ms. Green's behavior. We must affirm that this type of behavior is not now, will not be tomorrow, and will never be tolerated in the United States Congress. That is why I support House Resolution 72.